Like you have like cheeks, like like. I do have cheeks, Daniel. A lot of people nose, do. Like, like, like that, it goes like this. Alice, I have a nose like a potato. Yes, I, my potato nose. Perfect. And I have a hairline. I actually have one. Daniel's got yeah, a lot. Of, like Daniel that. just got a lot of forehead. <laughs> Welcome to another week of John and Shithead Vlogs. I'm not speaking to him still. If you remember last week, he ran off and left me here in the caravan when we were supposed to be returning back to London today together. Didn't happen, obviously, I'm still here. Anyway, he sent me a message this morning about the company. Uh, not, not an apology or not a how are you or anything like that. Ignored it. I'm so disappointed with him. Pisshead. Daniel Vata gets drunk and does silly things. Don't you, Daniel? Not nice at all. Okay, Jack. You're in my bed. You're nice and comfy there, my love. Hmm? Tired. Taking a, another chilling day before I go back. Hi. Daniel sent me a message, he apologised, said sorry for yesterday. It was the last message I received for him a few hours ago. Because I ignored his messages earlier, <laughs> that's why. I do, you know, for me to complete the things in the caravan, like, you know, cover this in silver, um, do the curtains, oh, dye the curtains, like change the headboard behind here. Can you see it? And then um, all the other stuff in there, like change all the covers in there and cushions. I need to go back because there's some things which I have to get, some things which you can't necessarily do here, some things which you need for the caravan to make sure I can get the jobs done right. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do anything else here. I'm just like slowly tidying up and then I'll go tomorrow. Oh, I will go Saturday. I'm just gonna chill. I don't care. I'm gonna relax. And it's been raining. It's been that really weird, you know that? Like lots of fine rain all day today. So fine. And even though it wasn't like you getting necessarily wet when you went outside, I just had a lazy day. I've had two bacon sandwiches. Actually, Jack had a lot of bread because it was too much bread for me. And that's it. But I've run out of cream. So if I do want another cup of tea, what am I gonna do? What am I to do? Why do I always undertake this stuff? Look, there's no curtains in the caravan anymore. And I've even taken off all the, everything what's on here. All the cushions have been stripped. And this is all the material. I've just left that little bit on just there. <sighs> this is me re really revamping the caravan. And I don't know how, I've got no money. I'm just gonna have to go back. I can't stay in the caravan tomorrow like this. You know, I'll get up tomorrow. I could, if I wanted to, and go back on Saturday if I really wanted to. But I'm gonna start packing, put this way. I'm not gonna give myself pressure. Definitely not. It's gonna be the weekend soon. I'm gonna put all this stuff into the car, into the suitcase, into the car, and then I'm gonna try and dye it. Well, <laughs> what I'm gonna do, I'm trying to find out what material the curtains are, what material this is, and then I'll try and dye it if it's possible. If not, I'm gonna have to make new curtains and new <sighs> cushion covers, upholstery covers, but it has to change, you know? If I'm gonna keep this caravan for a good few more years, I need to revamp the look, make it look, you know, modern, and then I'll, I can keep it, I'll be happy with it. Because there's so many people out there who they don't do this, okay? They don't like upgrade it, they don't change it up. They just swap the caravans. Because realistically, what can you change in a caravan to make it look modern without making it look too changed? Not a lot, not a lot at all. But I think this caravan, we might be able to get away with it, maybe. I haven't spoken to Daniel today. But I don't care because he's been an asshole. I think I'm gonna go back tomorrow. 
try and dye all that stuff or get things sorted out for the caravan. If I have to make some more <sighs> kitchen covers, I will, but oh, hey hell. Anyway, I'm gonna go to sleep. Good night. I still don't wanna go back. I just want to stay here and relax with a big ginger dog over my head. Are you going to lay down? Oh, come on, lay down, lay down, lay down, lay down, lay down. Come on, lay down. Uh, I should have really had some breakfast this morning, but I didn't. I fed Jack, went for a little bit of a walk, I cleaned the whole caravan up, and we're ready to go. Everything's packed in the caravan. And I do feel sick. I always feel sick when I get to this part, you know, having to leave the caravan. Because um, it's another leg of my journey in life. How boring. <laughs> okay, I've got two. I've just got. They kind of have this key, so I'm pitch number 14. So what I have to do is drop this little tag off at the warden station so they've not so they know I've gone. Um oh. Just calm down, I hate this. I don't know why, I just... I don't, does everybody get like this? Do you know, moving from one place to another, so on and so forth. Maybe they do. I've hardly got any battery on my phone, so I went into this shop. <laughs> and look, I went to go and get a charger and I came out with bloody McDonald's. But I am hungry, I haven't eaten. Jack's eaten, I haven't. But I suppose you want some chicken nuggets, don't you Jack? I'm sure she will do. Let me just get out of here first. Okay, move, 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 move. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Dharma, they're oh. so big. Look how big he is. <laughs> he looks so nice. Have we done something with the air? I'm trying to make it. <laughs> Don't feel. I actually can't believe how. Make sure, I've got to make sure you're in shot. I've got to make. <laughs> I can't believe how big he's grown. His coat's grown as well. It's gone <laughs> <a bit> different. <laughs> he's getting to be a man now. How do I feel to be back? I don't know. Alexa. I think I've done something a bit silly. <laughs> so Daniel found a tank, a fish tank. I don't know if he showed you already, but I was looking at it thinking, oh God, I want to get the, rid of the fish. There's only one left. I'll let it die. Just been to the pet shop and I bought plants. I bought all sorts of stuff. I bought some more fish because I'm going to set it up. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy some substrate. Well, I've already bought it from Amazon. And substrate, if you don't know, it's hard soil, let's say. And this hard soil sits on the very lower shelf, right at the bottom of your fish tank. Your gravel goes on top, and then you plant your, um, you plant your, your, your plants in that. And then your water goes in. Then you put your water in, a bit of water in from the fish tank or some toys or ornaments or whatever it might be. Leave it for a week and then you can put your fish in. So that's my plan. That's what I'm going to do. And why not? You know, I'm distracting myself. I'm actually getting my head around doing stuff in London now. I know I don't have to jump straight back and do everything. It's not necessary. But, oh my God. So I'm just looking at my guy's oh, this is really ugly. Um, you're distracted there, <laughs> sorry. So here's the fish tank and I've checked that it works. Oh, have I checked that it worked? I did. It checked, it does work. And then the pump, I've unplugged it, but I've checked that that works, it works fine. And I've bought this, so loads of plants for it. That's there to go into the substrate soil. Um, here are the fish, what I'm going to put in the other thing. And then look, I've got these, I've got like rocks. I can carefully lay it down. So 
so the fish can go underneath it. Um, three bites. And then this, some more gravel, a little bit of gravel. I wish I had that substrate now. Anyway, I've ordered it. At the shop, it was, I can't remember, 30 pounds. It's like a, a huge um, bucket of it. I don't need that much. Come out, Jack. Can you get Fishy. What's wrong with you? <laughs> I am cooking some turkey jalapeno and cheese burgers, which we didn't use in the caravan actually. And I thought, you know what, we just get rid of them, meaning eat them. And I haven't had so much to eat tonight, so. I don't know, they look okay. What do you think? What's it feel like to be in my bed after three weeks? Well, I'll tell you something, it feels good. Because when, I, when I'm at the caravan, I'm like, the bed's so small that I'm kind of like, you know, like fetal position in one, uh, and then kind of like stretching out from one corner to the other corner. And then, but, but the bed is really comfortable, that's the thing. But here, you know, the, the temperature's constant. The bed's bigger. It is more comfortable here. Do you want to be back at the caravan? Not really, no. <laughs> I'm not happy to be back, I really am. But I do want, I do love the caravan. I do love it and I could live there. I promise I could live there easily. Good night. What's, What's wrong, Daniel? I'm just trying to get what you ready doing? for work. <laughs> And just get ready for work. It's alright, we're just here, we'll stay here. We're not bothering you, are we? <laughs> what were you saying, Daniel? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realise that people can get so excited over substrate. <laughs> that's the stuff that's coming for the bottom of the fish tank. And I, excuse me, I keep checking on Amazon to find out when it's going to actually arrive. I can't trace them, don't know where they are, and I really want it. Because I reckon though, I think this fish tank has got potential. And because it's so bright, these lights, like you've got the white light, and then you've got the blue, wow, look at that. White light. Anyway, I'm thinking, you know, we'll get some nice fish and really look out. No, I don't know. I just like the fish, I like fish. <laughs> what is this? What is this? Yummy. <laughs> Bell used to do the same as well. Not eat it straight away. They kind of hide these big ones. I don't know why. Oh, right, time for my cream and tea. Where's your ball? I'm smart enough, I know where the ball is, but where is your ball? <laughs> what are these little balls? They've both got such a really weird habit and they kind of like do the voice of the dogs. It's like, I don't put up with them to it. And it's like, I listen to them and think, oh my God, these are fucking crazy people. <laughs> oh no, but I love you, but I missed you. <laughs> Guess what's come through from Amazon? Substrate. Fuck. It's the wrong thing, it's just sand and gravel. What am I supposed to do with that? Oh, I was so excited as well. I was hoping to get it and it's so frustrating. So all I've done is, oh my God, it's so annoying. So anyway, I've just, um, I just ordered what I think is the right stuff. But you bite plants and then I'll wait until tomorrow to do it. But at least, you know, at least I'm going to get it over the weekend to do. I, I was really looking forward to doing that. You might have, you might have been able to tell. 
I heard the door downstairs twice, so I thought it was Daniel, so I'm jumping up, ready to go, to, well, waiting for him to like come in, and so I'm making myself all lie in bed, like, pretending I'm sleeping, usually. <laughs> oh, I hope he can see this, he probably will. He knows what I do anyway. And it wasn't him, it wasn't him. So I'm still here, I left the whole day to myself, not doing a lot, admittedly, just plodding around, making mistakes with a fish tank, and that's it. But today is today. Tomorrow is another day. Good night. He's he left both sets of keys in the flat, but I've done it myself. And and I know it's easily done. Oh, yeah, you can say that, but it's not. No, it is. It's easily done. I've done it. Easy, easy, easy. All the way open. <laughs> Are you know. for real? I can't believe it. <laughs> I can't believe it. I can go actually now ride in box. Fantastic. <laughs> With my ass open. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm gonna go around the whole flat um, and make it good for tomorrow because when I start work tomorrow at nine, I just want you know nothing to bother me. So I thought, go around it, make it beautiful, and then you've got no distractions. And I'm gonna do the washing. You know, on my washing has already been done in the caravan for three weeks. I've been there and taking into consideration that Daniel's been there as well. And you know, in that time, I came back, and this is Daniel's washing. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is correct. That is Daniel, hasn't been bothered to do anything. So I will do it for him in the background. And I'm gonna iron it, I'm only gonna wash it and dry it. But you know, how difficult is it to wash and dry clothes? And I'll tell you what I did a few years ago. We never had a laundry basket. I threw it in the frigging bin because of that reason. We had like our clothes hidden in a cupboard somewhere. They got built up and built up and built up. I was like, Daniel, just wash them as they are. Nowadays, you can wash clothes at 40 degrees. The colors won't run. <laughs> they do not run. I'm getting through slowly the things what I need to do. I've moved Fleur com Fleur's computer out of the way because I don't know if she's going to be back working here or if she is at what point. So I thought I'd move that. Um, I'm doing the floor about 20 million times. The clothing, all the bits we're not using anymore, which reveals stuff like that. I've got to replace the wallpaper and repaint, which is going to be a pain. And you know when you clear one lot of shit off? So you can see underneath, it's like, shit, this place is a real mess. So it just h highlights everything else what I've got to do. But you know, that's the nature of the beast, raw. Okay, so it's not perfect, but look, I managed to cut my hair and you can see my hairline growing. And I've done, I my desk, got one paper there, and I did the kitchen. So I kind of moved a few, few things about, but, more importantly, it is clean and fresh and I even did the doors as well. I wiped down the doors and the walls in bleach um, and I've got this, it's all prepared already now for the substrate which should be coming and the bedroom is kind of, I can't believe I'm showing you what I've cleaned. Um, it's kind of, there's bits here but hello Jack, are you happy baby girl? <laughs> Uh, so yeah, so I'm kind of happy with what I've done so far. Now I've got to wait for the substrate before I take Jack out because if I go and the substrate comes, I'm going to be pissed off. So I need to get this fish tank up and started. I think it arrived. I've just had a delivery from Amazon and I think it's my substrate. Yeah, baby. That is what I need. And I probably explained it already, but I'm going to tell you again. It's soil. That's all it is, but it's solid soil, which stays right on the surface, the bottom of the fish tank. And then you can put plants in it. How amazing.
this is the last thing which I've got to put in. And these are slate rocks. I'm gonna make some kind of bridge. So that's the rough configuration what I've decided on for now. It's so that some of the larger fish can get in when I get them. And then the smaller ones can certainly hide in there. And then I can block up the bigger gaps if the little fish need to like live in there and do whatever they want. Now it's time for the plants. So I left it a little while um, and this is what the fish tank looks like now. So the trick is you have to leave it for a little while. So as far as I understand, this needs to be left for about a week before I can introduce the fish because everything is going to acclimatise. Yes, and you've got to acclimatise as well, Jack. But I think it looks okay. All I'm hoping is now that with these plants and the, with the tank, with the substrate, with the lights and with the plants now everything should settle in so th this tank should work a lot better oh it looks nice Larissa what are you doing just finished work now and I'm gonna go for a quick drink to see Tara and Danny because it's Danny's birthday. One drink because John will get upset if I get drunk. <laughs> I can't deal with you drunk. Tara, I miss you on my vlogs. Everyone does. <laughs> I did viewership. I'm still on your vlog. I saw that other one the other day. And I like threw my axe away and I was like, yeah, I'm leaving because I don't like what he's eating. I was like, I, like, I don't like roasted. I like some. Like always, I'm the first one to leave the party. <laughs> so, good night. Wow. This is the first bath I've taken in just over three weeks. Oh, my back was hurting so bad yesterday, but this is actually softer than hard bits in the bed because the bed has like, on the left hand side, it's got struts which raise like that and the same on the right hand side, but in the middle is solid. So I slept all in the middle on my back last night to kind of straighten up my spine because it was my lower back which was really hurting. But now, it feels okay, and I think after this bath, I'll feel okay as well. I've turned off the computer. Got a thousand things in my mind. Just got to get up and get on with it. Do not use one-on-one -on -one Ionos. Do not use that company. That is the best advice I can give you today. They have made us loss lose so much money from the company being down because of what they failed to do on several occasions. Their communication between one person and the next is non-existent. I've never ever dealt with a company like it. They failed in almost every respect. And you know what? I was that stressed, I was nearly crying. I know that seems really pathetic, but it was that bad. They've completely destroyed the business so far. That's my day today. Just drank a whole bottle of red wine. Have you caught him? No. Oh, Daniel's trying to catch him. There's one last fish. I think we're going to be a bit rough with him. Just going to leave it to Just leave it to fish. settle. We've got four fish out, ready to transfer to the new tank. I'm just letting them acc acclim acclimate, acclim acclim acclimate, 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 acclimatize, 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 English person, I forgot the word, four tiny fish, we've got to get the last one out, so this fish tank's going to be fine, so we've got water in it from the old fish tank, and there's all the, like the butterhead, 
and these, I'm gonna leave them 10 minutes and turn them out and they're gonna love this new environment. But how am I gonna explain to that little fucker in that crappy tank that he needs to come out because there's plants and spaces to hide, there's like better flooring, there's more space. You know what I mean? You can't explain anything to these fish. They're stupid. I'm gonna order fish and chips from the fish shop. Okay, empty them out, baby. Let's see where they go. Ah, look at that. Well done, John. Why'd you close these blinds? It was like, it was sunny, and you know I hate sun. Why do you open them now? Because the sun's going down. You need a bit of light in, save some... Save some frickles? <laughs> you have frickles. pissed off. <laughs> Probably. The worst food ever. I don't care. And Daniel went out and bought me his bottle of red wine. Today's been a very strange day. Um, for me, it was fine because I was in bed all day just trying to chill. But John had a really bad day with our websites and stuff. So basically, not, not much moving forward. But maybe tomorrow things going to get better and uh, we're just going to move forward. Okay. I'm gonna go to bed and I'll see you in the morning. Good night. It's a late start again this morning. We got a, a little bit later than expected and then we had a meeting and then, oh, I don't know. I mean, I'm happy that Daniel's here, but Daniel has to finish early and I have to finish early because what I didn't tell you was, all the stuff which I stripped off the caravan, all the seating, I took it over to a guy called Steve across the road. And Steve said, oh yeah, I can do it, no problem. So he's gonna redo the whole um, seating area. But the, the problem is, I, I didn't give me a quote, and I'm gonna go this afternoon, just after one o'clock, to have a look for fabric, because we have to get this done. Oh, around the ninth, I've got, I think, oh, I think after the ninth, ninth, I've got my teeth, so I'm gonna get those professionally cleaned. Um, and then I'm gonna get, I think I've got, I think something else, can't remember, wanna check, see how my gums are, to make sure they're okay. You I think have very good gums, John, you're talking. Uh, and they weren't that good, apparently. You can't see it, it was right at the top somewhere that there was a problem on the inside. So I've been using Cordis Corsidol and um, using the interdental um, flosses like crazy to make sure that they're all good. Um, anyway, so that's my plan. But in the meantime, I've still got to fix this freaking website for sex ties. <sighs> all right, let me get on the phone to them. I'm not looking forward to it. Hey, Sunny Bunny, Money Funny, Money Sunny Funny. <laughs> Hello, Sunny Funny Bunny, Money Sunny Funny Bunny. <laughs> I just got into the most amazing guy at One on One Ionos after all these dramas we've been going through, and he's actually helping sort things out. You know that guy who was really horrible when we asked for the cancellations? William. Yeah, whatever his name is. No, don't say his name, don't say his name, because it's not fair on him. Yeah, I know he is, but this guy just did everything I asked him to do. He's very, very helpful, this new guy. And that other guy was horrible, and he's one of the supervisors. Never known anything like it. And I was saying, but the server's not working. It is not working, it is broke. You have not fulfilled your contract because it is broken. He's like, do this, do this, do this. I'm like, it doesn't matter, it needs to be removed. You have to delete it, it's dead. Anyway, this, so this new guy was like, yeah, it's dead, we'll remove it, we'll refund all your charges. This is the best package for you. So, so, so. You know? You never know until it's done, John. You yeah, but you know, yeah, but you know what I'm saying though, the difference, you heard the full conversation. It was horrible. Oh, I better go, this is the new guy, he's calling me. That's Rosie. Can you see her? And like that little bit of the hair. Let me, let me just. <laughs> I don't know why she doesn't want to be filmed. She's beautiful. <laughs> we are just complaining because she's got no hat. She's got no sunglasses. And we're on our way to Shepherd's Bush because at Shepherd's Bush Market, Market near and around there, they sell furnishing fabrics. And that's where I'm off to now because. I am able to get every single one of the seat covers done for £25 according to Steve 
was in our local upholstery shop and that works out about 250 quid got to get the material so i think that's reasonable so i'm going to do it get all the material get it over and done with and it's quite exciting for me because i hate the color of the caravan at the moment i can't find any ticket machines anywhere so rose is having to use a phone because there's like pay by phone stuff just here Gold Hawk Road in Shepherd's Bud has textile and fabric shops on either side. It's absolutely packed full of them. But the problem that we've got at the moment, we can't seem to find a lot of upholstered material. They do have stuff, but not that much for sofas and things. Oh, should we have a look in here? Maybe not. We must have been like to 10 shops and they don't have any material we need so now we're in Jebswich market and apparently this is a better place to get the fabrics who knows i just got back i'm sorry i forgot to show you i was in the shop i was thinking oh this is this like that and i forgot about you i'm sorry and i know you're dying to see what fabric i've got so this is the material right so i don't know if you can see the difference there so this is a dark material and this one is going on sofas so that is gonna be replacing all these colors here, which I think will be interesting. And then the curtains, you can see, is gonna be the lighter color just there. So I don't know if that gives you any kind of understanding impression, but I think these two colors are very plain. They're very, you know, okay, the fabric's not as hard wearing, but it is what it is. When I sell the caravan, because I'm sure I'll sell it at one point, they're gonna have the original covers anyway, so I'm just gonna have to put those all in the bag. It's, it's not very durable, I don't think. I'm just gonna have to be careful sitting on it. And you know what else about? Oh my god, this is and I never ever treat myself to clothing like this. Mm -hmm. What do you think? It's kind of uh, smart, isn't it? So it just fit me. By the way, it's extra large. <laughs> So I wasn't very um, happy about that, but I don't know, I think it's lovely. And I don't have a smart jacket. Mum and Dad are gonna come down because they're actually calming down from fostering. So they've got two foster children who are uh, in the process of being fostered, stroke, adopt, um, adopted by this, an, 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 um, this couple. And um, that suddenly them will warn my foster brother who they've had since he was eight months old. And he's no problem whatsoever. He's wonderful. His name's Paul. He's got global learning difficulties, but he's so funny. He really is. Um, and I, I, you haven't met him. He's been in some of the videos off farm, but um, I don't think it's appropriate. I think because he's still a foster child, you know, but to be honest with you, he's my brother. I've known him since he was 18 months old. <laughs> got a jacket. Thank God for a haircut. I was going crazy. This is how a 25 pound haircut looks like. <laughs> but these muscles at Northern Road. Um, I don't know if they are expensive or cheap, but they, this costs four quid, so I bought two of them. And um, I'm gonna cook them for dinner. <laughs> Why? What are they, shall we? Ooh, that looks nice, Daniel. Thank you. We don't do John's food cooking, you know, we have, we are elite. Whatever. <laughs> where are we going to eat them? Well, you just eat them wherever you want. Can I? Of course. Thank you. Don't make mess. Like muscles. Was it cream, white wine? You put some chili or something in there. You put some chili in there. Yeah. I think I 
like I, I cook too many mussels and I'm gonna share some with uh, our neighbors or La Fendalma because they always share stuff with us. Hope they're gonna like it. I dropped all the mussels in his doorstep. <laughs> Are you comfortable, Daniel? Are you really, really comfortable? Very, very comfortable. How can I make you less comfortable? Uh, you can push your mouth. Less comfortable? Yeah. How about if I go like that? Ow! Don't kick me! I'm making you feel uncomfortable. You're such an asshole. I fucking hate you. I'm gonna go to bed. Good night. Morning, Jack. Why are you so happy? She's always so happy anyway. Which I was always happy like her, you know. And when you think about it, it's horrible that these animals die early, I mean, early compared to us. But the happiness they have throughout their lives is, <laughs> for most of them, anyway, unsurmountable. Unsurmountable. I've got a business meeting. So I'm gonna have to zoom off. I've got my key. Yeah. I'm gonna have to go and see Siobhan for a little while. But the thing is, I really want her to walk back. It's only four minutes away driving. But, like, you know, that's my excuse anyway. Whether it's valid or not, I don't care, but that's the excuse I'm using. In this cafe. It's called um, Hive. I'm just waiting for uh, Siobhan to come in. Yvonne, Siobhan to turn up. She says she's parking the car. I think she's coming with a daughter. I'm not even, I don't even know what she wants, to be honest. Maybe just want to chat about her business moving forward and stuff. And obviously, because I'm amazing at everything, I can do that. That's Nicole, and that's Siobhan, and that's Nicole's beautiful baby just there. And I think I've just done a head in because I've been talking about websites and stuff. And she's like, uh, what? What? What are you saying? <laughs> I think I blew her brains out. Do you think I blew you from his brains out? Say so, yes. Yeah. That was a long meeting. I really hope Nicole, Siobhan's daughter, can actually just want to do this, you know. I'd be, I'd be so impressed, you know, to make this business good. I mean, she's, she's so lovely. They're both actually really lovely. Siobhan is, I don't know, she makes me laugh all the time because she's so, like, um, I don't know, excitable and she's so focused on getting new clients and making making things better for herself and then her daughter is kind of oh I don't know really reserved calm she's like she doesn't flinch at much <laughs> and I think that's because her mum's kind of a bit wild oh baby it smells like smoke in here how can we still smoke have you been smoking in the bathroom oh, yeah. I just had a okay it's throughout the whole house guess what I got feces it's not edible. No. I thought it was about time to get some more fish. So I'm going to put these in. Got males and females. Look at these bitches. <laughs> Whoa! You scratched my face. Come out. Oh. 20 minutes in the tank to so that the water adjusts. And then we let them free. Hello, Sonny and Soy. <laughs> Go. That's much better. You bring some color to them. Yeah. Well, they'll be happy in there, I think. Do you want to get some more? <laughs> there are not too many. Do you want to get some more? It's like you're one of those algae cleaning ones that we don't have to worry too okay, much. Okay, but you've got to do it. You see, I end up just oh. getting them because you never do it. They look nice. Yeah, they're having a meeting. Yeah, they're having a meeting. Right, Deciding see, like, who's the ugly guy and the cute one? <laughs> I'm the cute one. You're the ugly one. <laughs> you just have like, you have, like you have like cheeks, like like. I do have cheeks, Daniel. A lot of people nose, do. Like, like, like that, it goes like this. At least I have a nose like a potato. Yes, uh, my potato nose. And I have a hairline. I actually have one. Daniel's got yeah, a lot. Of, like Daniel that. just got a lot of forehead. A lot. I don't spend three hundred three hundred thousand pounds for to get some hair. Or whatever. Naturally beautiful. Oh my! Okay. There's actually three look like grey ones and three cleary ones. Or oh, ones which are more clear, I think. Or maybe it's just the light there's one under. I'm thinking, did these fish give birth as soon as I put them in the tank? Or 
did they come from, you know, when they scooped them up, you know, um, at the fish shop today, did they like get these baby fish in as well? But it's like, it's just absolutely amazing. Look at this, what Daniel cooked. Cut pasta, and then he cut pasta sauce, chicken, tomato sauce. I was so hungry, and he was upset because I just grabbed his bowl, you can see in the sink, and I put a little bit of pasta in, I put pasta sauce in, and I was like, consistency is a bit weird. Anyway, Daniel, he put fucking anchovies in there, and he put, what else did he put in? Chickpeas. And I don't know what else, it's like a really watery sauce. Oh my God, that's why I kept biting every bite. I was thinking, you know, is it gonna get better? And it was getting worse and worse and worse. It was disgusting. Honestly, it's the most disgusting for food you've made. For somebody that wasn't hungry, you went first. In I place. was starving. And you know, when you're so looking forward to eating something nice and all you get is like a salty, I don't even know where the salt's coming from. It could be from that bit or that bit. It's like Russian roulette. <laughs> Just eat the plain pasta if you want to. It's like it's Russian okay. roulette with pasta. Piece of chicken, it. and then you get in that. What is that? No, it's a bogey. It could be a bogey. No, it's a caper. But what's the difference? And there's a piece of fish, and I'm thinking, what the hell is this? And there's sweet bits in it. There's no sweet bits whatsoever. It's the capers. I was biting it, I was thinking. It's salty, It's disgusting, all of it. Never, ever let Daniel cook for you. Disgusting. I'm going to go to bed. <laughs> that is not funny. Just waste. <laughs> <coughs> wasting what? Food. And I'm still. I, waste, I haven't wasted the food. I will eat the food. I'm starving. It's disgusting. <laughs> you know where the shop is. It's, it's not funny. funny. How very usual. Daniel's in the other room, and I am here, which is great. Nice big bed to myself, albeit a messy bed. Jack's just there, chilling out. And I'm gonna say again, thank you so much for watching this vlog until the end of the week. I really appreciate. It. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe because my subscribers are really crap and I really want you to help me grow this channel so that I've got the impetus, you know, the real impetus to make more videos and keep you entertained. I'll see you next week on Thursday at 6.30. Take care.